In learning objective number five, we're going to study capital market efficiency. What exactly is an efficient capital market? We should look at what capital market efficiency is. We know that the values of stocks fluctuate uh, by the second and also uh, from year to year. And these values fluctuate because of changes in information. And essentially, an efficient capital market is one where uh, prices change rapidly and adjust rapidly to changes in information. We may have one of three things happen to our stock price. When there's a big announcement like a new iPod or a new iPad coming out, you may see an efficient market reaction where the stock price goes directly up to a new level. Uh, you may have a, um, and we're going to call that the efficient market reaction, where prices instantaneously adjust to fully reflect the new information. Uh, well, you might see a overreaction and correction, perhaps um, what Greenspan once called over uh, irrational exuberance. That's what it was, irrational exuberance. So we might have an overreaction and a correction back to that what we would call efficient market level. Uh, or we may have a delayed reaction where the price will slowly adjust to that efficient market uh, level. In this case, uh, you see eight days elapse before the price completely is reflected. Uh, the new information is completely reflected in the price. So well-organized markets in general are efficient. Uh, investors are competitive, and the MPV of all investments is zero. Um, so that's an efficient capital market, a market where uh, stock prices and instrument prices uh, react quickly to changes in information. And you may have three types of uh, capital market efficiency, strong form efficiency, semi-strong, and weak form. Strong form efficiency is where all information of every kind is reflected in stock prices. Semi-strong is all public information is reflected. And weak form, current stock prices, just look at its own past prices. In summary, then, uh, we've looked at five key areas in this history of uh, capital market history, a study of capital market history, um, and some lessons we've learned. What are returns on investment and how do we calculate them? What is the historical record? as put forth by uh, Roger Ibbotson and Rex Sinkfeld. Uh, what has happened over the last 85 to 90 years? Uh, what are average returns for all of these instruments? You should memorize those average returns and use those averages to make your investment decisions. How much risk can you tolerate? Uh, learning objective number four, what is the vari variability or volatility of these returns? So we should kind of look at which uh, returns and which instruments are more volatile than others, and we can do this by measuring their standard deviation and variance. And finally, what is an efficient capital market, a market which adjusts quickly to changes in information? I hope you've enjoyed session number 12 of Introduction to Finance.